Hello everyone and welcome. What I'm going to do today is take you through how to use OpenAI to write your listening descriptions or maybe just clean up your Englishing, All right? Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is just go to the website and the website is very simple. It is openai.com. Click on that and you'll be brought to this beautiful looking website and go up to the top right and click on log in. For most people, the easiest way to do this is just to continue with Google. If you usually have a Google account, you have a Gmail account, just sign in with that. And it is pretty straightforward. Gets you in, it asks if you're a human. Yes, I am a human. And sometimes it asks you two or three times. Now, this is the welcome page for OpenAI. You can do a lot of things here, but the one place that I usually recommend people starting off with is going straight to the playground. And in the playground, you can write pretty much anything. And this is kind of fun. If you want to say, please make this sound like it is written for a two-year-old. Uh, real estate photography is important because it helps sell homes faster. Okay, so we can go submit. And then here it is in the green. It says it shows people what the house looks like so they can decide if it's the right home for them. All right, now let's take all this and say, please make this sound like it was written for a two-year-old. You can actually change that now and say for marketing. And then press submit. And now it's saying professional photos show potential buyers the beauty and potential of the home and can make all the difference in the sale. Quality real estate photography helps to create lasting impressions and make all the difference when it comes to selling your home quickly and for the best price. So a lot of this is just coming straight out of AI. It's taking the knowledge of what it has found on the web for real estate photography and how important that is. And it is creating text based on all that knowledge, data, whatever you want to call it. All right. This is all pretty simple. This is a great way to take a listing description that you've already made and make it sound better for marketing. You can also tell the prompt, say, okay, I want this done within 200 words or 380 characters or whatever your limitations are for your listing. The reason I like starting off with Playground is because you can just play with existing text that you have. So if you've written something, you're not quite sure if it sounds good or not, you can just throw it into here and have it make it sound better. But if you wanted to actually create stuff, go down to the bottom here and say, looking for ChatGPT, try it now. Click on ChatGPT. And again, we have to just verify that we are a human. And log in, continue with Google. Here we are again. And with ChatGPT, you can say, I have a 2,500 square foot house with three bedrooms overlooking a lake. It has a great kitchen with stainless steel appliances and granite countertops, fully reno renovated in 2009 please write me listing description for real estate enter Let's see how that works and here we go so this is the ai writing out your description. So introducing a 2,500 square foot home, you know, boasting breathtaking views of a serene lake. This exquisite property features spacious bedrooms that offer unparalleled comfort and relaxation. As you step into the home, the first thing that captures your attention is the fully renovated kitchen equipped with top of the line stainless steel appliances, stunning granite countertops. The kitchen is a chef's dream come true, perfect for entertaining guests and family gatherings. The home has been meticulously maintained and renovated in 2009 to reflect contemporary designs and style. The interior design features chic, modern finishes that accentuate the natural light and pours through the large windows, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. Of course, I didn't say any of that, right? ChatGPT just brought this in. 
The home's bedrooms are thoughtfully designed to offer maximum comfort and relaxation. The master bedroom features a large window that overlooks a tranquil lake, creating a peaceful, serene ambiance. The outdoor space is equally as impressive with the ample room for outdoor entertaining and relaxation. The property boasts a beautiful backyard, perfect for hosting summer barbecues and spending time with loved ones. Located in the sought-after community, this home offers the perfect combination of luxury, comfort, and easy access to nearby amenities, schools, and transportation. Well, is that true? I don't know. We'll have to check that. Don't miss this opportunity to own this stunning home. Book your viewing today. Now, isn't that amazing? So ChatGPT brought all of this in. Now, what I like to do is grab that, take it back to Playground, and put it in there. I will put quotation marks around it so that the Playground understands what I wanted to edit. And I'm going to say, please shorten this to say, I don't know, let's say 500 characters. And we'll go to submit. And now here it is at 500 characters saying, introducing a stunning 2,500 square foot home with breathtaking views of a serene lake. A fully renovated kitchen features top of this line appliances and grand countertops, perfect for entertaining, contemporary design, chic finishes, natural light. So you can see how it took a very long list uh, listing description and shorten it. So Playground is great for doing it that way. Playground is great for uh, taking existing text that's already there, and shortening it, whereas the chat GBT is great for just generating brand new text, which I thoroughly enjoy. You can even say here, it's like, uh, make it sound more luxurious. And <laughs> chat GBT will do that, right? So the nice thing about ChatGPT is that it can create pretty much any text that you want. The problem with it is though, of course, it is AI generated. And the part about AI, it's, it's artificial intelligence. It's not actual intelligence. It is not as intelligent as you are and doesn't have the knowledge that you have of the actual property. It is just going to keep on generating verbiage based on whatever programming it has. So, it is a great way to get started on your description. It's a great way to clean up the grammar, the text, the, the tone of your descriptions, but be sure to go over it once, make sure you're happy with it, edit it, and make sure that it's truthful, right? And it covers everything that is relevant to your listing. You can even add uh, things like, also, as nine foot ceilings, a double car garage can you please that into the description okay and we'll keep on writing so i hope that was helpful if you like i also have a quick book it's a pdf book that has some of the benefits and what you should look out for when using chat gpt for writing your descriptions Check it out. It's in the link below. And if you have any questions, by all means, you can DM me, at me, email me. You know how to get in touch with me. Thanks. Again, I'm Rob Morotto with Calgary Photos.